today we're gonna do something a little different. We're gonna try to fix this thing. Now, I'm not exactly sure how to fix this, but let's figure it out. Now, the problem I've been having lately is you gotta turn it on and this switch isn't quite working. I think I know what's going on, so it should be an easy fix, provided that we can actually get to everything in here. So, well, let's get right into this. Now, if you're new to the channel, well, I definitely welcome you. Uh, this isn't quite one of my normal videos. I mean, I do DIY fix videos and stuff like that. Uh, this is something a little bit different. But, you know what? Definitely check out what we have to offer here and uh, well, consider subscribing. Definitely helps me out. Try to be as careful as I can, but if I rip these off, they're easy enough to solder back on. And hopefully, as soon as I take this board out, it'll uh, give me a little more leeway, leeway here. Well, out of everything that's on here, this switch is my problem. Let's take a little closer look at what's wrong with it, what's causing our problem. It's a pretty simple fix, even though we can't remove the switch without desoldering everything, but just the same, we should be able to fix it fairly quickly. It's a little difficult to see inside this switch, but you can see that it's kind of corroded, not really corroded, it's just a little dirty in there. And if we clean the contacts up, we should be okay. So I'm just gonna try to, well, scrape away the dirt a little bit and see what I can use to get in there to actually clean it. Sometimes a little project like this can be a little bit of a pain in the butt. Now I'd rather much take this switch out and clean it up the right way, but for the most part, I don't think I need to do that as long as I can get in there. And the switch is a little finicky right now, and like I said, I think that's only because there's a little bit of grime built up on the contacts. So we'll see what we can really do. I'm pretty confident this will work. All right, that should at least do it for now until I can get the proper fix done. So I'm just gonna gently put this back together and hopefully not break anything in the process. All right, that was a pretty easy fix. Now, it may not have been the exact correct fix. I would like to have desoldered that whole switch and taking it apart and really clean it up. But you know what, that's gonna take a lot more time and I, I don't have that much time right now. I can't, uh, if you're new, I had back surgery, so I can't do too much. If you've been watching this channel for a while, well, you know the deal. And you know, this isn't quite the normal vlog, but it's kind of getting close to the normal vlogs. It's a little bit different. But either way, point is, to do it right, replace the switch, take the switch apart, and clean it up but to do that you got to des desolder it and there's like uh, I don't know like 10 12 connections there that you'd have to desolder I'm not doing that right now I'm going for the real quick fix which is really just kind of cleaning the contacts off the best I could so that it would actually work you could probably use some sort of cleaner on there maybe like uh, some isopropyl alcohol or something just a little bit something like that just to clean it up a little bit like that I didn't have any on me at the moment so we'll see how this fix works for a bit if I got to take it apart again it only takes two seconds to take it apart anyways so I thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video and you know what, uh, I'll see you in the next one.